OpenAI's observability system handles petabytes of data every day. Billions of logs, metrics and traces, yet their engineers can still troubleshoot issues in real time. Most of us aren't running at that scale, but the pain is the same. When you're diagnosing incidents, slow queries and endless data make it nearly impossible to see what's happening in your systems when it matters most. At the ClickHouse Open House conference, OpenAI shared five reasons why they chose ClickHouse for their observability needs. In this video, I'll walk through those reasons and why they matter, even if you're not running at petabyte scale. If you want the full details, there's also a blog post you can read in the description below. So first up, ClickHouse speaks SQL. That means engineers don't have to learn a new query language. They can jump in with tools they already know. But there's a bigger advantage here. Observability has traditionally been its own silo with bespoke UIs or query languages. ClickHouse lets you treat observability as just another data problem you solve with SQL, aggregating logs, traces, and metrics in one place. And the result, faster analysis without the friction of jumping between systems. Next, ClickHouse is cloud native and horizontally scalable. That means as your data grows, you simply add more nodes and queries keep running fast instead of slowing to a crawl as they often do with traditional databases. Of course, scaling out is only part of the problem. You also need queries to stay fast as the data set explodes and that's where flexible indexing comes in. And this isn't just theory. At OpenHouse, OpenAI's engineers explain how they tune performance by enabling the indexes that speed things up and skipping the ones that don't. Now this sounds obvious, but having that level of control is exactly what lets them scale smoothly. Reason number four, ClickHouse is open source. That means OpenAI's engineers have full visibility into how it works and the freedom to improve it when they need to. In fact, they've done exactly that. When they hit a performance issue in production after the launch of image generation in GPT-40, they debugged it, made a fix and contributed it back. Having that level of control means they can solve problems on their own timeline. And when they share those fixes, the whole ClickHouse community benefits. And finally, OpenAI took comfort in knowing they weren't alone. As Akshay explained at OpenHouse, a lot of their peer companies were already using ClickHouse for observability. That gave them confidence the system was battle tested, well supported, and the right tool for the job. So those are the five reasons that OpenAI chose ClickHouse for observability. It speaks SQL, it scales horizontally, it gives them flexible indexing, it's open source and extensible, and it's already trusted by their peers. If you'd like to see how ClickHouse fits into a complete observability stack, check out my next video on ClickStack, where I walk through how the whole ecosystem comes together.